In this video, I'll show you the best ways to create an AI influencer that can go viral without making the mistakes everyone else does that prevent them from going viral. This is the ultimate guide that will give you all the tools necessary so you can create AI influencers without wasting your time. I did research for weeks through trial and error to bring you the best guide possible. First, we will go through simpler methods. Then, I'll introduce some unique methods so you can use the one that you prefer. I'll also give you some advanced tips to improve quality and my secret tool to create AI influencer videos. Let's get started. The first step is to create the AI influencer. There are multiple tools available for generating the influencer. One of the best models, which is free to use and train to create hyper-realistic images, is Juggernaut XL. We are going to use it in conjunction with Fucus. I will leave the link with the instructions to install it in the description. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will try my best to help. Open Fucus. I am going to use the dark theme so it does not strain your eyes. Click on Advanced, then on the Settings tab. There are four options. The first option is Performance. I like to keep it on the Speed option because it's faster and delivers great results. Then, for the Aspect Radio, we can use anything. I'll use the default one. For the image number, I'll change it to one. Lastly, for the negative prompt, I'll leave it blank. But you can write anything you don't want it to show or render in the images. Then, in the style tab, is where we select the kind of style we want our image to have. I will keep the default options because normally they improve the quality of the image, and I'll include a focus photograph. It makes the images look more like a photograph, which is what we want. For the model, I am going to use Juggernaut XL version 8, which is their newest version at the moment. I won't add any refiner and I'll keep the default lore. And in the advanced tab, we are going to keep everything the same. Now, the first mistake everyone makes is creating the generic pink-haired AI influencer. If your influencer is not different from the others, it won't stand out. That's why I will use this prompt. As you can see, the most important part here are her intense blue eyes and red hair. A tip here is that for the first photo of our influencer, it should be in portrait mode. So let's change the aspect ratio to portrait. Another tip is to include the color of the clothes that contrasts with their skin and eye color. Now let's make her eye color more intense. To do this, I'll highlight the text and then click on curl plus the up arrow. This will increase the weight of that part. Now, since the intense blue section is increased, the dress is blue. To address this issue, let's increase the weight of the dress color until it's red. Perfect. Now that it's working as we want, we can create more images. I'll increase the image number to 10, so we have more options to select from. Let's generate them. As you can see, some images will have blue dresses. That's okay. Let's review them. They are great. Just what I was looking for. I'll use this one. The contrast is excellent. Now that we have our influencer, the next step is to create images of the influencer doing activities. A common mistake is to create the influencer's face in Leonardo or any other image generator, then create the pose, and finally use a face swap tool to change the face. This technique results in a weird skin tone and inconsistent facial features, and it's also a time-consuming task. First, I will show you an easier way that also delivers better results. Then we will do the more advanced ones. First, enable the input image, then go to the image prompt tab and enable advanced. This will give you more fine-tuned options for each image field. Now, from those options, select face swap. Then, drag your image and increase the stop at to 0.95 to maintain the same face. This is important. If you have anything below that, it will make the image face not the same as your influencer. Also, the weight is really important. Increase it to anything between 1 and 1.2. This also increases the similarity between your influencer and the new image. Now, I'll use a landscape aspect ratio, but you can stick to the portrait ratio if you prefer. This depends on where you want to post your content, and since this is a YouTube video, I'll do landscape. Remember, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments change the text to any activity you want your influencer to do. I'll try working out at the gym or outdoors, and I'll change the image number to four. Let's generate them. This takes a few seconds to generate each one. As you can see, the image quality is great, 
and the face is really similar to our influencer. Just watch out for the hands, sometimes they are not correctly generated. You can fix it by generating the image again, or if you really like the image, you can in-paint it, which I will teach later in this video. I will try a few more prompts before moving on. Let's do hiking in nature. They are awesome. Now let's do in a pool party. It can generate not safe for work content, so be careful with that. Let's try now at the mall. As you can see, they are all consistent with the face of our influencer. Now I will teach you how to improve the quality of the face. But before continuing, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot and allows me to create more content like this. First, go to the In Paint or Out Paint tab and drag the image you want to improve. Then, go to the Advanced tab at the top, enable Developer Debug Mode, then go to the Control tab and enable Mixing, Image Prompt, and In Paint. The next step is to paint the face carefully. This is setting which part of the image we want to improve. This is an important tip. In the Methods section, change it to Improve Detail. This is really good for faces, hands, eyes, and other highly detailed places. Then, in the In Paint additional prompt, you can write simply, highly detailed face, or go with a more descriptive approach, which is what I'll do. Now just generate it and watch it improve the face quality. As you can see, the face quality is way better. Now, I'll show you how to create the same face in multiple positions. First, let's remove the In Paint and disable mixing image prompt and In Paint. Then, go to Image Prompt and upload the face's image in the second box. I'll leave a Google Drive folder in the description so you can download these images and follow along. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Then, select Pyracani, so we only get the pose from the images without the face details. We start by writing grid of nine heads of A, followed by the influencer prompt you used, or a good description of your influencer. Next, we should lower the image number to one. And since the image is square, we should make the image dimensions 1024 by 1024 and generate it. When you generate your grid like this, the faces will not match the influencer's face. This is expected, and the next step is to fix the faces. To fix them, first remove the Pyracani 9 grid image, then go to InPaint and drag the new image down. Then, go to Advanced and enable Mixing Image Prompt and InPaint. Here is a really important tip. You should never in-paint all nine faces at once, or they won't be fixed. You should in-paint one by one. It's important to in-paint only the face and the neck. I am in-painting the hair too. That's not needed, but it does not harm either. Remember to keep improve face as the method. After generating each one, remember to drag the new image down and clean the in-paint so you can continue with the next face. Simply do the same with the next faces until you finish all of them. I will speed it up so you don't have to wait. Here is the result. The next step is to generate your avatar in the same position but from different angles. After this, I'll show you how to make videos. Remove the image from InPaint and disable Mixing Image Prompt and InPaint. Then, go to Image Prompt and add this image, remembering to have Pyracani selected for that image. We also need to change the aspect ratio to 1344 by 768. Since this is not a grid anymore, remove that part of the text and then write what kind of clothes you want the influencer to wear, in this case, a red jacket and white leggings. Let's generate it. The first generation did not have the correct colors, so I increased the weight of the clothes to 1.3 and it worked fine. The face was not generated correctly. Normally people recommend to keep generating until it's fixed. That's not a good idea since you rely on luck and it can be really time consuming it's better to just fix the face. Let's do that. To fix the face, first remove the Pyracani image, go to InPaint or OutPaint, and drag the image down. Go to Advanced and enable Mixing Image Prompt with InPaint. Then, InPaint the face, keep the same face prompt, keep Improve Detail, and just generate. These are the same steps, so I'll do it fast so you don't have to wait. Remember, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Also, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot and allows me to create more content like this. And this is the result. The faces look great and they are all similar to our influencer. Before we move on to generating videos, 
Here's a quick bonus tip on how to fix the hands. First, go to the InPaint and drop your image there. Type Remove Finger and InPaint the part of the hand you want removed. Try a few times until your hand no longer has the additional finger. No one teaches how to do this, and it's a significant flaw in AI influencers, so this tip will put you ahead of most other AI influencers. Now, to improve the hand detail, start by dragging down your improved image and change the method to Improve Detail. Then, write Detailed Hand, in paint the whole hand, and that's it. Now your hand is fixed. Let's learn how to generate videos of your influencer. For this, we will use Roop Unleashed. I will leave a link in the description to a video where I teach how to install and use Roop Unleashed. And, as always, if you have questions, please let me know in the comments. First, drag to the Target Files box a video of someone who is also red-haired. Then, drag to the Source Files the image of the face of our influencer. Now that we have both files, we verify that there is only one face, and then we select our post-processing. I'll use GFPGAN since it delivers great quality videos. And then, just click on Start and wait for a few seconds. Mine took exactly 25 seconds. Here is the final video of our influencer. Now, I will teach you how to make money with your influencer. But before continuing, please like and subscribe. Your support means a lot. You could just make money from sponsors and shout outs on your Instagram profile, but if you really want to increase the income, you could... No, we are not doing that. Even though it's possible for this model to generate not safe for work content, that's not the way I'll teach you how to generate money. The way that I recommend is promoting products through affiliate links. I will show you how. Let's make our influencer go to the club. Then, if I want to make her wear a necklace, just go to InPaint. Drop your image there. Select the area where you want the necklace to be shown and write necklace and just wait. That's a beautiful necklace. If you want to promote products, you could use this tool to add them to the scene or Photoshop. Any of those will work fine. Now that your influencer can promote and wear sponsored products, the next step is to make her talk. Watch this video to learn how to make her talk. If you're interested in more content like this, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel.